Hey everybody, this is Perch, and we talked about uh, Miles Morales Thor uh, earlier in the week. And uh, as, a, as a breaking update, you know, what's actually funny is the video around Miles Morales Thor, I don't believe has actually gone out yet. So I'm recording the follow-up video to a video that hasn't been released, which shows you how screwed up everything is here at uh, the Perch Show. But anyway, Gizmodo uh, reports, this is a kind of mainstream publicity, you know, Marvel just absolutely loves, uh, writes, the author of the Marvel's, uh, sorry, no, that's not old, the author of Marvel's problematic Miles Morales What If comic has apologized. And basically, what's the premise? Have they apologized for writing a, you know, for, for putting Miles Morales and using him like a, basically a skin suit in Fortnite where you can just put whatever hero you want onto him and call it a day in a cheap cash grab that does nothing but actually diminish the popularity of the original character and make him seem worthless? No, that's that's not actually not what they're apologizing for. But, well, I'll read it to you. It says, Beloved Spider-Man Miles Morales, that, okay, come on now, is set for some highs with the upcoming release of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1, a sequel to the Oscar-winning animated hit, which promote, propelled the Afro-Latinx God damn it, Gizmodo, uh, character to break out into mainstream popularity. In, in one paragraph, tell me that you're completely disconnected from the uh, mainstream. Thank, thank you very much. Um, on the comic side of how, uh, things, however, there's been a very disappointing low with the release of a comic based around Morales where he's reimagined as Thor. As part of that low was also the Captain America, Hulk, and Wolverine ones. Okay, just saying. I, this is, you, 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 who is the author to this? Sabrina Graves, who just cannot figure it out. I, I'm, if, if you take a character, by the way, any race, you know, white, black, uh, Afro-Latinx, whatever you want to do, and you basically treat that character like a completely disposable, dress them up in whatever costume you want, um, that's a problem. That's, that's stupid. It's not progress. And I remember talking about this like, I, I don't know, like a year ago on this channel. I did a video. And, and there are people who showed up in the comments like, I don't know what you're complaining about. I, it's fine with me. I, I'm, I'm excited to read it. Oh, bullshit. Okay. That's, let's, let's start. Uh, no, no, let's stop with the, uh, let's stop with this. Like, <laughs> tell the truth. Okay. The, the sales of these things are dismal. The premise is stupid. And yes, Miles Morales did get a big boost from that Sony movie. And yes, people do seem excited to kind of see this character off. And the, the, if you decide to say, hey, I'm going to own the trolls on the internet, which I'm convinced is exactly how this series came about by saying, you know, people who say that uh, that's not my Spider-Man uh, by saying, oh, yeah, well, we'll make him your Wolverine, your Hulk and your Thor, too. Like that, that's this was a gag designed for the editors at Marvel to try and troll people they don't like on Twitter. That's the origin to this series. If you think it's appropriate for, uh, if you think it's appropriate for, for people to treat characters like this so disposable, yeah, you were part of the problem. But anyway, getting back to this, um, the comic What If Miles Morales Thor was met with backlash over writer Yudi Mercado's inauthentic depiction of the character while also fueling concerns as to why Marvel would, at this point, hire a non-black writer for the comic in the first place. So, well, okay, so by the way, Miles, at, per your own paragraph, is Afro-Latinx, so, it, but it has to be black, right? Latin people, screw them, right? Is that, is that, is that what you're saying? Uh, but, but okay, I right, fine. <laughs> I mean, you can't have it both ways. You got to pick. You got to pick one or the other. Anyway, um, the outcome of all this is Mercado, uh, after being pummeled by a bunch of uh, douchebags uh, over this, and, and like I said in the other video, I mean, it, it, it the problem, is the problem the writer's race, or is the problem that the story sucks, and, and it's terrible, and the idea was bad in the first place? That's the problem. I, I Anyway, so uh, it, basically he writes this, which to me is sad. Um, and, but, and by the way, this tells you that it's not over. So the, the writer says, I've taken the last few days to step back and listen and acknowledge your criticism for my recent issue of what if Miles Morales is Thor. While I've lived a different experience from my own Jewish and Mexican background, I still know inauthenticity, inauthenticity hurts. For the record, he was Asgardian. So it was stupid, but I mean, I, 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 come on, Marvel. Can you, can, can you not hire a, a Norse god to write your comic? Are you, you bigot? Anyway, I'm sorry this failed on that front. Here's the part that kills me. 
I've appreciated hearing and learning from my Black and Puerto Rican comic peers and hope to use this moment to help promote better authenticity. I'm going to donate what Marvel paid me to the Brooklyn Book Bodega, which works to build literacy and get more books to kids in New York City, he wrote. Okay. Well, let me let me go into so so basically Gizmodo uh, io9 uh, decides that despite this apology they're going to ignore it and they're going to go ahead and beat him over the head a few more times. So they say it's a big disservice to kids who are growing up with Miles, especially if they're tuning into the comics for more after Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse and anyone inspired by probably the best evolution of the Spider-Man canon at Marvel since his creation. The Root, Stephanie Holland, offers more context and insight in a post that reads in part, The reason Miles was such an instant hit was he was just a normal, awkward teenager who wanted to help people. Like every other black person, well, black Latinx, uh, okay, he talks like a regular human being, not a weird black 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 exploitation caricature. Read the full post slash, you know, angry rant at The Root, uh, who, who just wants to beat this guy into oblivion, uh, here, and then they link it. So this is, so for a couple things. First, the guy shows up, the writer, to, to basically apologize. Shouldn't have had to, but does. And the article, which was demanding an apology and justice, completely ignores then the apology. Doesn't comment on it, doesn't talk about if it's a nice gesture, none of that. It just skates right past it and just like, hey, don't, don't forget, here's why this writer is a racist, awful person, and fuck him. That's where this writes through. That, that's what this does. But the part that kills me is this. All right, so very nice that uh, money was donated to a place that builds literacy. Uh, I give a decent amount of money to charity. I think that's, uh, that's, that's very kind. However, I don't think you should have to give it by gunpoint. I don't think you should be forced to do it. I don't, and I don't, and what bugs me here is it's not like this writer is alone. So in this little statement uh, that the writer wrote, where is the editor? The editor that basically said, hey, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take Miles and we're going to make him Thor, make it fun. It's the editors at Marvel that are taking art in some cases and, uh, you know, redrawing it so it looks, you know, more Asian uh, in Greg Smallwood's case. But where is the uh, editor who is donating money? This writer did not show up at Marvel and basically say, hey, I'm, I'm writing a book and you're going to, you can, you, you're going to, let me, because you don't have any choice in the matter. Where is uh, Tom Groman, the editor? Where is Nick Lowe, the supervising editor? Where is C.B. Sobolski, editor-in-chief? I mean, probably, I, I mean, <laughs> I, I can make a joke there, but where, where are those people in this? Because the way comics get done, and especially comics like this one, is the Marvel editor reaches out to a writer and uh, Yudi Mercado is not a household name at Marvel, and says, hey, you know, we've got this book, we'd like you to pitch for it, it's going to be Miles Morales, but he's going to be Thor, and we want to have it be fun, and let's see what you can do. And the writers in almost every case hear these ideas and go, well, that sounds really fucking stupid, but, you know, I want money, and I'd like to work at Marvel, I want that Marvel credit, so I guess I'll do it. And that's how you get books like, you know, you know like a mini series about Aunt May's neighbor, who's a secret Cree agent. Or, you know, this is how you get dumb books, is the editors ask for these pitches and the writers come in and, and basically fulfill them so they can make their, you know, 50 to $60 a page. And then when shit goes down like this, you get these hit pieces by io9 and The Root and other places attacking the writer and posting little funny screen caps of Miles looking confused and saying, you know, it's a problematic uh, story. And they beat these people over the head with it. You know, if you if you look at this article that, that, that was posted, uh, there's a bunch of comments on it. And the comments are what you'd expect. You know, these are racist, awful people who are doing this. And I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's crap. Um, and yet the editors, the people who kicked this whole thing off in the first place, the people who basically read this story when it came in and said, yeah, this is good. Again, these comics don't just get written and then magically appear on the shelves. They go through a huge process. So you're telling me that, uh, you're, you're basically telling me that all the people involved in soliciting this pitch, asking for it, approving it, sending it to press, all those people, yeah, they, they they just quietly sit in the background. 
There is no statement. No, Nick Lowe is not issuing something going, hey, 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 I was a supervising editor on this. Uh, you know, I can't let the writer here take the fall. For all this, we approve this. My office, my office helped make this happen. So I, I, you know, I'm sorry too. This is, this is as much my fault as anyone else's. Where's that guy? Gone. They're all gone. Why is it the writer has to say, well, in addition to getting the shit beat out of me, and, and so guaranteed, Marvel is not going to hire him for work in the near future. They're going to be like, ooh, well, you're, you're kind of toxic now. You know, a bunch of Gizmodo wrote an article about you. I, I, let's, let's give it a while to cool down. So basically, you get this guy, one to write for Marvel, gets a job. In uh, 99% chance, the writer thought this entire idea was stupid, throws it in anyway, Again, 90% chance that the editor is like, hey, black it up a little bit in the dialogue. I can almost guarantee you that it was like, hey, let's, let's, you know, let's make this more fun. I guarantee you those notes went back. And now that it blows up, the writer has to donate his pay, get the shit beat out of him on social media, and kind of just vanish for a while. Whereas the editors just get to continue to churn out shit. Does that seem fair to you? By the way, none of what I'm saying, so don't misinterpret, is that this was a good story. It was not. The, 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 the writing here was awful. I mean, it was awful. This was not done well. But this was a joint not done well production. And so you see this outcome, and every single time, every time, the outcome is, well, you know, the writer gets to take the shit, and the editors and the people who approved it and solicited it, they get to just kind of quietly do this again and again and again. So Sobolski, Lowe, come on, show some balls here and stand behind your choice. Don't let this guy die on his own. Thanks for listening.